What is up YouTube, Ace here from fit to play Games and tonight we are going to be doing a games pickup for the month of July 2020. Now you guys have probably been wondering, hey Ace has not done any kind of games pickup for a while. Well, let me tell you guys what really happens during the games pickup. I tend to do most of my games pickup around the 25th but there were so many things that I still have not gotten in my house yet that I had to wait a couple of days but tonight we will be doing that so please join me in the games pickup for the month of July. 2020 so here we go all right guys so welcome back to the channel and like i said i have accumulated a huge amount of stuff for the month of july and uh let's go ahead and begin with the games first because the statue you know they're they're kind of distinct and um those are a little bit more easier to go with so let's just go ahead with the games so we do have a store in where i live in in the state that i live in called half price books and i was able to get two games from that one is Records of Lotus War for the Dreamcast and it doesn't come in its original case unfortunately it's yellow case but it does come with its original manual and the game itself. There you go. That's pretty cool. And then I also picked up, I got that one for $14.99. Um, obviously, Dreamcast games are really hard to find nowadays, so you know you kind of have to get what you find as soon as possible. And there's only a few games that I really liked on the Dreamcast, and um, those are kind of expensive, like Power Stone. I'm still in the market looking for two Power Stones, Power One, Power Stone One, and Power Stone Two. I really want to get a hold of those, so that would definitely complete the collection like collection I call it complete because they are games that I really want to acquire and um, the other one that I bought was a uh, Dracula's Curse Castlevania 3 for the NES and I got that for 30 bucks you know been looking for this I've been eyeing this before it was yep as you guys can see it was $29 now but on this half price bookstore originally I think it's in around $49 so they lowered it down and once they did I went to go ahead and jump on that opportunity to get it. So that's um, Dracula's Curse Castlevania 3 for the NES. Now I have to look for a case for this one. <laughs> Alright so let's go ahead and go to the re the games that I picked up from the retro store. Alright so I got these. Let me put my feet up just a little bit. So um, got a bunch of NES games. I'm gonna put this to the side there for now. Those are all included. Um, I bought Robocop for the NES. There we go, I got it for $7.99. And I think they were having a sale on this. So I got, instead of $7.99, um, you pay full price for both of them. And you actually get two more games um, with the same price. If it's $7.99, then that is a free game. So if you bought two for $7.99, you get um, two free games for $7.99 without any those those are free basically so for two games I paid $14.99 I got two back all right so that's Robocop for the NES I like that game secondly I bought Black Manta um, it's pretty cool ninja games for the NES early NES games the Wrath of the Black Manta is a very, very cool game. I've seen a couple of gameplays on it on YouTube, but if, um, if if you guys are interested, I can make a real quick video regarding that game if you guys are interested. And uh, yeah, let me know. So the two free games that I got from buying the Black uh, Wrath of Black Manta and Robocop is, um, I don't know, I chose this and uh, I'm a big fan of the NES tennis games. I don't know why there's something about the tennis games for the NES that, you know, that is just awesome to me. I like it. Um, been playing it. I've also played the Super Mario Tennis. So, you know, I, I'm a Nintendo kid. And the other one, so you guys, if you like, um, if you guys like the Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, um, double pack game for the NES and this is the original shooters uh, Hogan's Alley I really love the shooting games um, especially Hogan's Alley um, I remember uh, playing with my cousins with uh, with Hogan's Alley back in the Philippines when we were younger he had this game and it was super fun especially if you're competing with a bunch of your cousins oh my gosh I had the best time of my life on that 
and uh, playing Hogan's Alley. So I got that one as a free for buying those two Robocop and Black Manta. And let's keep going here with the retro games. I've got the, I also bought this one. Um, I, I don't see a lot of, um, you know, it's really hard to find good um, RPGs for the Nintendo 3DS because there was a lot of them. So, you know, some stores would overprice a, a lot of um, RPGs, especially uh, the Nintendo 3DS. Um, Nintendo didn't go wrong with the Nintendo 3DS. I, I believe that that was a very successful handheld system that they made and they made a lot of cool games. A lot of games came out of there that also came out in other platforms, which is fantastic in my opinion. And uh, they took that all the way to the Nintendo Switch, which is very, very, um, uh, what you call it, successful. So I bought this one. It's called Ever Oasis. I got it for 20 bucks, but you know what? It was well worth buying it because number one, this is 20 bucks, but if you spend over $50 when you buy this, you get uh, $10 off off the games that you buy. So I bought this with some of my PS4 games and uh, I got $10 off on this one. So yeah, which is pretty cool. And I'm very interested in this RPG because if you guys take a look in the back, you it reminds me a lot of Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon is very cool. It's a very cool game where you basically take over your grandparents or grandfather's farm and you build it from the ground up. You make your farm and make it successful and you know that basically um, you know makes the game complete if you successfully um, rebuild the entire farm and make it successful and make money uh, during the time that you stay there and uh, a bunch of stuff and this is basically the same but the only difference is you get to travel and fight different kinds of monsters in Ever Oasis so I cannot try to cannot wait to try this game I'm very interested in it and I've seen some um, videos on this online and uh, you know it's very very interesting uh, next I actually bought this uh, old this one's loose this is a uh, which we call it. this is Star Wars one uh, Star Wars uh, which we call it Star Wars Episode one Jedi Power Battles. Now the reason I bought the Jedi Jedi Power Battles is because this was the most frustrating Star Wars game that I have ever played for the Nintendo uh, the PlayStation system. It was really hard. It was so damn hard that I actually broke one of my controllers playing this game it was really frustrating so I had a friend come over and help me out with the game because you can play two players on Jedi power battles and we we were both ready to throw our remote controls at the windows let me tell you that it was really really hard so the reason I bought it is maybe I have changed I've matured a little bit maybe I can finish it on my own so that's that and I got a couple more games here uh, I'm a big fan of Gran Turismo and as you guys have seen, I do have quite a collection of Gran Turismo in my entire uh, game system. I have them for my original PlayStation. I have them for my PlayStation 2 system, PlayStation 3. Hence, I have to get a copy for the PlayStation 4. But this one has the capability to be used in with the PSVR. So if you guys own any of those uh, virtual reality um, PlayStation 4 systems or PlayStation VR, then this is gonna be a cool game to play with that and uh yeah i mean i grew up on uh gran turismo you know my uh what was that i, I think it was a porsche uh 911 porsche that you get to unlock it was like super fast once you hit the acceleration button it goes zoom. anyway i got that one and next i got a couple of cool um you know co-op sit down games uh area right here um, it, this one is created by Sedesco. Um, I was just re, you know, I saw, I came upon this, and I was just reading the um, the things that is about this game, and it reminds me a lot of uh, Final Fantasy Chronicles, which is guys coming out for the Nintendo Switch. I'm very excited for that because uh, 
you know, it's a co-op game. Uh, with, but the same as Area, I think this one came out in Europe first. As you guys can see, this does have the uh, European tag uh, Peggy 12. And uh, it's very interesting, you know, you have your friends coming over. This is definitely something cool that I can play with uh, Ms. Zorro, with my sister. You know, we can all adventure together in this game. And you know what, I'm excited to do that. And maybe we'll, we'll do a video on it or something. And, you know, that's their choice if they want to play with this game or play with this other game. It's another um, couch co-op game that I picked up. It's called Rogue Stormers is a very cool game it's a shooters it's a platform shooters but you could also play with four players in it so this is very very exciting um, I can't believe that they released a bunch of games like this on the PS4 and I am not aware of it but now you know I've seen them I was reading them you know what I'm gonna pick all this up this is good games for my family to play with and I can enjoy with them as you know as we play the game it's super fun and last but not the least, this one is uh, Clad Dune Returns, uh, Sengoku. This is Sengoku. It is a 16 or 16-bit action RPG. It's kind of like a dungeon hack and slash type of game. If you guys are familiar, it does remind you a little bit of uh, Zelda. So the reason I picked it up is it was going for $7.99 and it was fairly cheap and I got $10 off on my other purchase which was the $20 one so I can't be mad with that that's a pretty good deal to me all right so let's go ahead and move on to some more games from um, GameStop hold up guys there's actually one more item that I picked up from half price books that I wanted to show you guys and that is this um, I think it's a Wii Zapper and it comes with the game uh, Lynx Crossbow Training, which is pretty fun, actually. I've seen some games footage on uh, in YouTube, and you know what? I don't own this, so I might as well pick one up. It was $7.99, I can't go wrong with that. And it also comes in as a, uh, basically a collection for my Zelda, Zelda collection. Hmm, I don't know, Zelda, Zelda collection. Anyway, that is that. It's pretty cool, and um, some games from GameStop all right so here we are I definitely stacked up my Nintendo switch collection so let's go ahead and get started with my Nintendo stuff so uh, this one I bought from oh my my family from the Philippines sent that because uh, they have play Asia over there and uh, I received that two months later anyway uh, that all right, so here we go. Let's start off with, if you guys remember, they had a uh, pro, uh, I believe it was pro sale day. Yeah, pro sale day on uh, at GameStop. So I was actually, uh, I was able to buy five games online and get three games for free. So pre-owned games. So let me show you guys the games that I have bought as a uh, pre-owned let's see here and then I will also show you the games that I got for free all right that that and that okay so all right so I bought wait is that the one no that's that one. there it is okay so there's a funny story about this uh, game that I bought so I bought these five I've bought the Pokemon Sword for $54 at GameStop. You guys already know Pokemon Sword. And I'm also a big fan of the Pokemon uh, series. I have been ever since I was 12. I've, uh, I love collecting Pokemons, different kinds of Pokemons from different types of region. The only Pokemon that I don't play more is probably Pokemon Go because I found it very dull. I have a Nintendo Switch. Why do I need to play Pokemon Go? I mean, some people find, you know, interesting stuff getting pokemons in the wild with their phones but i don't know other i just don't want to do that anymore <laughs> and then i got this one uh, animal crossing for 54 dollars and then i bought zelda uh, breath of the wild for 54 and then uh 
Zelda Link's Awakening for 54 and then you, Luigi's Mansion 3 for $54. Now, the reason I bought these is because, um, you know, Miss Zoro, I'm actually going to be giving her these to uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Link's Awakening because I do have my own copy. So, you know, it was her birthday back in uh, July 20th. So, you know, I wanted to give her something. She already got a gift, but I'm giving her some more because, you know, why not? She's an awesome person. So she's getting the Breath of the Wild and the Legend of uh, Zelda Link's Awakening. So I got these five and these are worth at least about, let's just say 260 something dollars, 260. I got three games for free, which was, okay, so this is the funny part. I got uh, these games for free. I got the Dragon Quest XI. And then also the Fire Emblem Three Houses. I know, unfortunately, it's so sad. There is no cover for for um, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, that's a bummer, but you know what? It came with a case, so that's fine too. And then, for some reason, when I got them on uh, in mail, see how I bought a Pokemon Shield? I got a secondary Pokemon Shield, so I went to GameStop that day and asked if I can return the Pokemon Shield because I know I showed them two Pokemon Shield. I ordered one Pokemon Shield and one Pokemon Sword, but for some reason you sent me a, a secondary Pokemon Shield. So um, there were three GameStops here, so I actually went to the one that has a stock and I went to their store and what's pretty cool about them is that um, they know that they checked when I bought this item and I bought it not even a week before. It hasn't even been a week, so there were time there was a time for me to return it. There was enough time. And um they said, you know what? That Pokemon Shield, we can take it back and we'll just sell, you know, we'll just give you a brand new Pokemon sword at no charge. I didn't get charged for a Pokemon sword because they didn't have any pre-owned they have they have all brand new pokemon swords so i got a brand new one but i've been playing my pokemon shield for a while now and man i love i love the pokemon series right now these two are probably one of uh, the best ones i've played thus before you know thus far you know i don't know when they're gonna come out with a brand new pokemon game but thus far pokemon shield and pokemon sword are one of the best games the expansion for it is fantastic they have so many so many different kinds of pokemon that now you can port and uh, i've been actually i have an original pokemon red that is actually my own from uh, my childhood and i was able to transfer my charizard from that to here and also my mewtwo from that to here so that's pretty cool and i also have a bunch of uh shiny pokemons that i have transferred here and that was allowed that was you know that's pretty awesome actually so i got that and they gave me a brand new pokemon shield um just to finish off that story and then besides that you know i i thought there were more games that i really wanted so they were they were they had the uh buy two and get one free so i ended up buying this game and this game right so i bought the now these guys are separate types of sales in the game gamestop uh, website so that's why you kind of have to check what kind of uh, sales they have and if you have the gamestop app you know they usually send you like the deals that they have every every day so there's a there's a deal every single day and uh, this one came up it was buy two um whichever one is available so you know you really have to check which ones are um are options for buying two games and getting one for free right so i bought uh langrisser and it was a clearance game for 36 bucks online and uh dragon quest builders one what's funny about this i have another story this came, and if, as you guys can see, this is not Dragon Quest 2. But when I opened it, inside is actually a Dragon Quest 2 game. So, uh, now I'm kind of, uh, 
you know, I kind of feel weird because I have a Dragon Quest 1 game, but I don't have a Dragon Quest 2 uh, case. So I have a Dragon Quest 1 game, but there's no game. I have a Dragon 2 Quest, but no case. So it's kind of weird. But uh, Langrisser, I played this in the original PlayStation 2. Very, very fun game. And I uh, can't wait to play it again on my Nintendo Switch. And then what else did I buy here? I also did more games. Uh, I bought more games that was uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, I bought the L.A. Noir for the Nintendo Switch. Very cool game. I uh, I think I bought this for 19 bucks. I also bought Dragons: Dawn of New Riders. I actually have this for my PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. It's a very fun um, platforming type of game, but it's 3D. So it's very, very cool. And if you've also played the ones for the original Xbox 360 and you're a big fan of How to Train Your Dragon, then this is a cool game for you, definitely. And I also picked up uh, Super Mario Brother Deluxe. It's because I don't have this in my collection and uh, Super Marios are getting really, really hard to find right now. So I bought this out of a whim and just to add it in my collection and play with. I don't mind it's pre-owned so what and I also bought Galaxy the Void and the uh, Skulls of the Shogun Bonafide Edition it comes with two games uh, this one came out uh, by Maximum Games and uh, it's very interesting I love this Galaxy Void I was watching a um, footage or a gameplay on it and it's very interesting actually it's a very very interesting fun game to try out and um, I'm actually gonna be playing this so yeah I I'll show you guys a little bit of gameplay next time but uh, can't wait to try that for myself and then finally I actually bought this on uh, the same day that I picked up well I bought this first and then the following day I picked up a certain game that we are playing right now in let's play Ghost of Tsushima so uh, this one is still sealed. I have not tried it yet because there's a lot of games that I've been playing on my Nintendo Switch. So I can't really, you know, play multiple games as much as I want to right now. I just want to focus on one game at the moment, like uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Um, what else? Pokemon Shield, Pokemon Sword, you know, all that good stuff. And eventually I'm going to move on to playing some other games. And then finally... I was um, the reason I bought Pokemon Shield and Pokemon Sword separately. You know, I'm gonna open that Pokemon Sword anyway because I actually own a Pokemon uh, dual pack for the Nintendo Switch. So I ended up, I bought this a while back. I just didn't get to show you guys that I picked one up. Anyway, I have that, so that's why I don't have to worry about the other two being used. And then finally, uh, my cousins and uh, my family members from the Philippines I requested to buy me a certain game that I've always wanted from PlayAsia and that is Salt Sanctuary. Now I bought two of this game. The other game went to my uh, friend Sam from Contagious Collection. So we, if you guys have not checked out Sam yet, definitely stop by to his channel. He is in one of my... Um, you guys can just search him. He's awesome. He's an awesome, awesome YouTuber. He does... Uh, games pick up too as much as I do and he does these flea market pickups and it's super super fun to watch some of his videos So definitely stop by and check them out and then some more stuff from GameStop. I also bought uh, Pokemon Sun because it was on sale. It was uh, I think it was uh, buy Buy two and then get the other two 20% off. So I bought Pokemon Ultra Sun for my Nintendo 3DS you guys already know I'm a big fan of Pokemon, so that's, you know, that's the no-brainer. And I also have uh, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, super fun game for the Nintendo 3DS. I actually have um, Kyogrim transferred from here to my Pokemon uh, Shield game. And then I also bought Pokemon Sun. Unfortunately, there is no original case, but you know what, Pokemon Sun? And it's Pokemon it's super fun and then next lastly here we have Paper Mario sticker star now I've never tried it before but 
I saw Paper Mario and it was for 17 bucks. I just had to pick it up. You know what? You know what? Let me just get that. And uh, what else did I bought from GameStop? Um, not this guy. I'll show, I'll tell you guys all about this guy. I actually now there are a couple of things that I said that I would never collect for the life of me, and that is um, guidebooks and magazines or whatnot. But you know what, Pokemon definitely retains its value and for some reason these were going for 12 bucks so I ended up picking up the Pokemon Sword and Shield Pokedex and I got this one from GameStop and it was going for it was brand new $12.99 so I ended up picking it up and the other one is official Geller uh, region strategy guide for Pokemon Sword and Shield I got that also for $12.99 if you guys it's brand new still sealed why not um, right now I'm actually in the market for uh, the hardcover strategy guide which is um, I actually called one of the GameStop that's around my neighborhood and asked them to save one for me because they're the only ones with a copy um, with uh, I think they have like three or four copies so I had one saved for myself so I can pick it up one of these days all right so let's go ahead and um, oh one more thing I wanted to show you guys this right here and that is uh, I also picked this up Pokemon I mean Pokemon <laughs> too much Pokemon picking up whatever uh, so we've got Ghost of Tsushima the collector's edition for the PlayStation 4 I also picked this up and I also picked up a standard copy of it just because I wanted to kind of you know save the integrity of the collector's edition first because this is one of its kind um, I know there was a um, I think it was a uh, whatchamacallit that came out um, in Europe they had uh, a different version they all it also came out you know with the collector's edition but they also have the uh, press kit that came out and it looks so nice I wish that came out here in the US too so then I could have picked up but I think there was only a hundred of those made man the people that got that it was pretty cool you guys are lucky anyway let's move on to some other pickups and uh, right over here a bunch of statues so let's go all right guys so one of the statues I picked up here is Luffy from the anime one piece and he's actually one of my favorite um, anime characters that uh, came out and as you guys can see here he's in his position doing the move his special move called Red Hawk it's a very powerful move and it definitely captures Luffy's uh, facial right there he looks exactly like Luffy and he was about to extend his arm to punch somebody right in the mouth that is the Red Hawk Luffy. It's pretty cool. Let's see you go. So you guys can see it's pretty interesting. It's a cool, cool statue that I picked up. Next up, I have Broly from Ban Presto, the Coliseum edition, and it's pretty cool. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of Broly. He is just fully full of power here as you guys can see he's just exhuming with power and anger it's pretty cool I like how detailed he is here including his scars and his anger being depicted in this statue and his muscular um, details are very very on that's really really on point pretty cool all right guys so now that you have seen my new statues I want to show you the new pop bobbleheads that I recently collected for my Star Wars collection and uh, let's start right over here um, I pre-ordered the Shatter Stone Trooper from GameStop and this is only a GameStop exclusive so you can't get this anywhere except GameStop and um, it's pretty cool it's pretty nice it's a unique type of bobblehead he's light blue colored and, uh, and it's a stormtrooper and it's part of the Star Wars collection and I'm definitely going to be adding him in, 
adding him there next one uh, I didn't have this and I've seen this roaming around online and I was like you know what I have the Jedi side why don't I go ahead and pick up a dark side ray so I ended up buying one I got this for like $11 online and uh, not too bad she looks cute she's got her double bladed lightsaber and it's red of course she is a dark side ray you know ray never really went to the dark side but you know that's uh, wishful thinking for others maybe it'll be an alternative uh, part of a DVD release or something and next thing here we've got I pre-ordered Darth Revan which was the main character one of the main characters in Knights of the Old Republic if you guys have not played KOTOR 1 for the Xbox original definitely try that for yourself and I also bought Darth Malak because he is the main villain in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic the reason I bought them together is because Darth Revan and uh, is the original Darth and Darth Malak is his uh, his um, disciple so basically what happened was Darth Revan was once a Jedi now this is just a quick version of it he was once a, a Jedi and then he saw that there was something wrong with the Jedi um, with the Jedi working with you know the politicians and all that stuff so after the Mandalorian Wars Mandalorian Wars he came back and he was a completely different person and he turned into the dark side but also in the Knights of the Old Republic game he went back to the light side of the force but then when that happened when he went back to the light side of the force Darth Malak betrayed him and took over being a Darth so that's why he's the guy that you have to take down in that game so now I've adding them I am adding them to my um, pop collection and then guys I actually have a very favorite super hero Marvel superhero at that and he's green he comes with different colors but his main color is green and you won't like him when he's angry and that is the Hulk so I bought the Hulk for a uh, for $9.99 from the retro store that I bought some of these games from and uh, it's very cool looking a definite addition to my pop collection and then I also bought some very very colorful Hulk pops and that is this purple Hulk I love purple you already know that and then I have the metallic blue as well and this was exclusive at Walmart I can't believe that I missed this but during that time the time this came out I was still not collecting any pops until I started collecting the Star Wars ones and now I want to collect all the Hulk ones now what I'm missing is the gold I believe the gold metallic and the silver metallic and I think there was a green metallic so there's three more Hulk that would complete my Hulk um, metallic collection and also I'm gonna put this to the side for a second here <laughs> I also bought this um, if any of you guys have like F Y an FYE store whoops an FYE store in uh, your area or the state that you guys live in um, they have some pretty cool statues and you know they were um, they're reasonably priced but I bought this one for um, I think I only got this one for it says 69 but I think I only paid $41 for this or 39 because uh, Miss Miss Zoro was with me so she had a 20% discount during her birthday and uh, I got this one for a lot cheaper we're actually gonna do a separate unboxing of this game because uh, this uh, statue because this statue is massive and I'd like to be able to check this out in uh, solo mode and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like when we do the unboxing I'll make a separate video and then um I also wanted to show you guys that I have added some more stuff in my Zelda collection and I told you I have been on a prowl been looking for a bunch of Zelda stuff to add into my Zelda collection and I bought these two controllers um, I bought this one in the beginning of July and that is the uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild wireless controller for the Nintendo Switch so definitely gonna be adding that into the collection and then also the Princess Zelda Breath of the Wild wireless collection now those are very very cool um, I like the white 
color of this and I probably won't be using them because they are going to be part of the collection and then I was walking around at the mall um, during that time I was also with Ms. Zoro we were checking out some stuff in the mall and I happened to pass by Too Cool now with Too Cool you know they I know Too Cool they carry a bunch of anime stuff a bunch of anime statues so you know I didn't expect that they would actually have the Zelda Breath of the Wild bow archer um, link so I was like did I just you know did I just kind of had like a weird did I just see something weird blah 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 and then I went back to went to see what this was and I saw link shooting an arrow and it says link right there I'm like oh we got to go check that out and guess what guys this was if it says $89 I actually got this for 50% off so I only paid this paid like 40 something dollars for this instead of paying a hundred bucks because uh you know with taxes and everything this would definitely reach a hundred and uh yeah that is my new addition to the um zelda collection i'm probably gonna be not opening him i won't take him out of the box just so we can keep the integrity and also his condition pristine and the next thing i've added in my collection is this um purple Nintendo Switch controller because I love purple and this is actually part of my Nintendo Switch on the go solutions which I will be releasing a video on pretty soon and I'll let you guys know when that video is going to drop and also um, I got a couple more that I want to show you guys which is the Goodwill pickups with these are the uh, Smallville pickups now guys I'm a big fan of Smallville and uh, I don't want to show you guys my other Smallville collection because they're kind of not legal. <laughs> um, yeah, I am not going to tell you how I got them, but they were they are not legal. Anyway, I bought a season one from uh, Goodwill for like two dollars and ninety nine cents. Season one. I've also bought a season two. I have a season three, four and five right and I also have a season seven and nine what I'm missing is season six and season eight those are the only um, Smallville um, seasons that I'm missing and you know what there's a lot of Goodwills out there and I'm pretty sure that I will find one in one of my you know thrift store escapades and adventure and also I got one more thing to show you let's um Let's go ahead and turn this camera over. This is very, very cool. I picked up from the retro store that I bought some of these games from. And uh, let me just show you. Let's go. So I was just, you know, going around when they, um, when the retro store finally opened in my area. Well, it was really close to my work, not my house, but it was really close to my work. And I was, you know, it was during my lunch hour and I went to the retro store and I found this um, Razer. Aatrox fight stick guys this thing is very very nice and I've been using this for my second online battles and this is for the Xbox one as you guys can see the little Xbox um, sign there this is very very nice and you never guess how much I got this for but I paid $50 for this razor um, Aatrox and what's cool about it is you can there's a storage inside of it and you can actually open it by pressing that button and it opens up and it shows you all the controls and wirings and this is the fight stick obviously and it also comes with a classic ball stick if you want to switch it with uh, if you want to switch the uh, top of it with the ball if you're used to that kind of um, fight stick and also it comes with the wirings that attaches itself to the Nintendo uh, the Xbox one system and a couple more adjustments for the um, stick and yeah it's fairly easy when I bought it it also comes with the screwdriver for unlocking and disattaching and adding a couple more components in there and I'm pretty sure you can add some high quality stick on this because this is highly customizable so that's pretty nice that is the um, Razer Aatrox fight stick for the Xbox one 
And lastly, um, my friend from GameStop, Ricky, actually gave me a call and I was like, who the heck is this phone number? One of these, you know, uh, some time ago I got a call and I was like, who the heck is this? Should I answer? Should I answer? Finally, I picked up the phone because it seems like they've been calling three times already. So I picked it up and I actually got this one from Ricky. Shout out to Ricky from GameStop. You guys have a fantastic staff there and this guy goes you know out of his way to help every single customer out there and you know what this guy deserves something GameStop so he gave me this full print poster um, window poster it's huge guys it's really it's really big and I'm only 5'7 so this thing is huge and what's cool about it it's a it's back to back it's a Final Fantasy 7 remake poster so this definitely made my day and I want to give a shout out to my buddy Ricky thank you man for uh, hooking me up with this poster now I can't wait if, until you hook me up with the uh, Ghost of Tsushima poster <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for um, watching the games pickup for the month of July 2020 uh, that definitely is a yeah uh, you know this is definitely a fun video that I got to share with you guys and I want to say thank you for hanging out with me just for a few minutes of your time I know it's like probably a 30 minute video but you know what I'm so so thankful for you guys that's supporting me in this channel and uh, I will see you again in uh, what comes after July August <laughs> I'll see you guys again in the August pickup and uh, hopefully we get more new stuff and more Zelda stuff. I have been, you know, keeping an eye out for a couple of items that I want to add in my collection. But uh, thank you so much again for watching the videos and joining me in some of my videos. And also, by the way, uh, I will see you again tonight for the Let's Play Ghost of Tsushima episode 11. Um, there's a quest that I really want to do with you guys and, uh, you know, I can't wait to... Uh, log in to my ps4 all right guys thank you again for watching the video and by the way if you're new to the channel and you like the stuff that you see and the games that i pick up make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything whenever i release a new video until then thank you so much and have a nice day